Am I the asshole for not allowing my neighbor to park in my driveway? My neighbors have five cars and a two-car driveway. There looks to be three generations living in the home. There is at least five drives and they are constantly shuffling cars around between the garage, the driveway, and a car parked in the grass. Our town tickets cars parked on the street overnight, and it's a suburban area so no public parking or a lot anywhere. Yesterday someone called the police on the car in the grass saying it looked abandoned. The family is here all legally, but the father came over and explained it really freaked everyone out and the police were checking green cards and such. I can easily put six cars in my driveway as well as I have a two-car garage. It's only my children and myself here, and I'm the only driver. We have one car. My neighbor is asking to put a car in my driveway now. That way no one will bother him about the car in the grass and it will make their lives easier. I said no because of liability. I really do not know my neighbors and my kids play in my front yard constantly. I have dings on my car from scooters and bikes, as well as sometimes we do crafts in the driveway. I honestly just don't want to bother with another car and asking them to move. Or if I have company them suddenly not having a place to park their car. My neighbor told me I was a huge asshole because I have all this space and his kids have to live in constant fear of the police showing up again and checking their green cards and or vistas. Am I the asshole? Here? I feel terrible. Te ETA I sat on this all day. I called a lawyer and put down's deposit for them to come up with a contract that stipulates one car, zero liability even knowing my child may damage the car, and I could cancel at any time. When I got out of my car the neighbor yelled dumb cunt at me. So I cancelled the document altogether and didn't mention it to the neighbor. Not the asshole. They need to figure out the car situation on their own. Not the asshole. It's not your fault that your neighbor has so many cars. What you do with your driveway is completely up to you. It's your property. Don't feel terrible for saying no. You have zero obligation to give up your space. Sounds like your neighbor might have the give an inch, take a mile attitude. It'll start with one car and if that's okay then it'll be two and then three cars. Nip it in the bud now. Not the asshole. I mean they can build a concrete pad to expand storage. Currently dealing with a similar situation with our neighbors. Not my problem, I don't want to be involved. There are other neighbors, other alternatives. Not the asshole. Your kids play there. That's reason enough. Not the asshole I don't think he was an R for asking, though you 100 have a right to say no. But he was an R for calling you an R and suggesting you are now responsible for any distress they experience. Not the asshole not only liability but your kids play in the drive now a driver in a hurry who doesn't look well and boom kids in the hospital. They created a problem and now they need to fix it, not you. My neighbor told me I was a huge asshole. Well since he put it that way, how could you not change your mind and help him out? I'm sure he would be even more pleasant when negotiating the second, third and fourth cars he'd eventually want to park in your driveway too. S. Seriously, though, very smart choice, not the asshole. Not the asshole and you're absolutely right about not wanting the liability. But really, it's your property and you don't have to have a good reason. Not the asshole your property, your choice. No. Is a full sentence. Not the asshole. It's your driveway, not their overflow parking lot. It's almost guaranteed that if you say yes to one car, more cars will soon show up and they'll be asking you to accommodate those cars too, or even worse, just helping themselves to more of your driveway space without even asking. It's a slippery slope you don't want to get on. They need to solve this situation themselves and your driveway is not the answer. Not the asshole. Your neighbor would not be one either until he refused to accept your answer. It sounds like the neighbors and especially the police are assholes what does it matter if a car is parked in the grass? Assuming it's their own grass, not public property or worse, another neighbor's lawn. 
but those are not things you can fix. My neighbor told me I was a huge asshole because I have all this space and his kids have to live in constant fear of the police showing up again and checking their green cards and or vistas. Incorrect. Your neighbor is T.A. for owning too many cars for his space and putting his kids in constant fear of the police showing up again and checking their visas. Not the asshole. It's okay to ask right? Yet people seem to think that asking means you're required to say yes and then they turn into two years olds when they're told no. Here let me make you feel like shit now so I can get my way. That's called guilt. Let me make you feel bad in order to get you to do what I think is good me, who cares about you. Your neighbor is the asshole and not your responsibility. They'll figure it out, it's not your job to do it for them. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Give an inch they'll take the whole driveway. Not the asshole their car is just that, their car. And your concerns are totally justified. Not the asshole, it's true you could be on the hook if your kids scratched it or something. The real asshole is whoever made that phone call. No way they really thought it was abandoned. Not the asshole it's completely acceptable to say no. They can't expect you to give up your own space for them especially when you barely know them. It's fine for them to ask but them being mad is unacceptable, they have no rights to be mad. Not the asshole. What the hell is up with your town that no one can park on the street overnight, and a neighbor called the police over someone parking on their own damn property? Some people need to mind their own goddamn business. That being said, I wouldn't want someone else parking on my property either. And if they have green cards and visas, they're fine. Why they had their documentation checked is also weird. Do the police ask for people's driver's license when they come to the door? Or is this family being targeted? My neighbor has something between five nine cars from his family work GFs and room for three. I have one car and room for three. No way are they entitled to your driveway because it starts with one, then two, then three because why not, you have space that you don't use. Do not let them park there, not even ten minutes. Not the asshole they can ask and you can refuse simple. Not the asshole I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not going to suggest your neighbor will take advantage of this. You don't wish for him to park there and that's enough reason to decline. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this really isn't your problem to solve. They need to get rid of a car or two or buy a house with a bigger driveway. Not the asshole. It is your property and you have a right to say no. Not the asshole, you may have a spare bedroom, doesn't mean they get a right to stay in it. If you say yes then they will take liberties, they won't move it when you need them to. It will become a headache for you. Not the asshole you have no obligation to share your driveway with them. It is their own dumb fault for not buying a home with more parking, or near to public parking. I totally understand and agree with your thinking concerning liabilities and inconveniences.